happy people i'm back with another video and today um i have a review for you all for a new manicure slash pedicure nail drill kit um melanie Susie was kind enough to send this product over to me for review so again it's from the brand melody Susie, and it's the p series and i think p stands for pedicure series so it's a manicure and pedicure nail drill kit so i'm excited to take a look at this the input is five volts power is 12 watts um, and I really like the color scheme for Melody Susie. Um, their products are always packaged really nice and cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and see what we're working with. Okay, cool. So first off, what we have here is the user manual. You all definitely wanna make sure anytime you get a new product, especially when you're working with electronics, um, definitely take the time to go through and read them. Um, I'm pretty familiar with most nail drills, so yeah, you'll want to just take the time to make sure you go through and read all the instructions before you use the product for the first time. And okay, this is different. Okay, I don't think I have anything like this. So first off, we have here, so I guess let's look at the accessories. Okay, so this looks like a nail guard. So this likely is going to go at the top of the nail drill, and that's going to prevent dust from flying around everywhere. So that's a pretty nice feature. We also have some sanding bands, which you can never have enough of, and these look like they are medium grip. We have the charging um, port, and it looks like it's a USB-C cable. Seems like a lot of um, products are going to the C cable now, which is really good. So that's nice. And then these are all of the different drill bit heads. And again, this is supposed to be specific for um, pedicures, but I think you can also use them for mandies as well. And so let's take a closer look at these. So I actually do want to look at each of these more up close. Okay, let me move this out the way. Okay, so these are all of the drill bits that come in the kit. I'm going to go through each, each one and tell you all what it's for because... Um, they all look like new type of drill bits to me, so I'm not familiar with them. Okay, so this one here is the large sapphire wheel. Okay, and it removes calluses on the soles of the feet. So that's this one right here. So this is a callus remover, okay. The next one we have here is a small sapphire wheel. It removes hard skin and corns on the soles of the foot. So that's this one right here, okay. And then next one we have the sapphire callus file and this remove calluses on the soles of the heel okay so this is particular for the heel and it's good that it's rounded so i can see how it can be easy to get the heel of the foot this is gonna be nice whenever i do my pedicures you guys to be able to use a tool that's specific for pedicures i think that's nice because i normally just use my regular nail drill but it'd be nice to get my whole foot and experience when i'm doing my nails instead of just focusing on the toenails uh, so that's this is a pretty cool drill um, next, it has reduced thick toenails and calluses and removed cracks on heels. So this is the sapphire cone. So that is this one here. Okay. This one feels a little bit smoother than the other one. Okay. And it's interesting, this one here feels kind of like a pumice cone. So, okay. Next one we have felt cone. And that's to eliminate dust, polishing, and matting. Okay. So that's this here. Okay. I don't think I've ever used any type of uh, drill bit like this. Um, the next one we have here is the mandrel and sanding bands, thick and fragile nails, trimming, grinding, and polishing. So it's just a, a mandrel bit and you just put the sanding bands on it. So this is like any other typical nail drill bit. It's just that it's constructed a little bit different. Next we have the umbrella top cutter and that's the clean cuticle area and side walls. Clean dirt from under the nails. Okay, so that's this one here. And I like how it's a little bit thicker though because, you know, toenails tend to be a little bit thicker as well. So, this is an interesting drill. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection, y'all. Um, and then, last but not least, we have the rounded top cutter. And that's to move product in the side walls and remove callus skin around the side walls. And so, that's this one here. Okay. And then again, um, the last one is the dust protector, so prevents dust from splashing. Needs to be used with other drill bits. And so I'm guessing it goes around like this. Oh, okay, cool. 
All right, so you just attach it to the drill bit like that. Okay, so that's cool to learn about all these different drill bits. Okay, last but not least is the actual drill itself. So I love that it comes like protected, so I'll need to find something to open it here. Very nice to the touch. I like this a lot. I like that it's um, of a silicone body, meaning that it's not going to um, slip out the hand easily. I will say it's kind of thick though. Um, it's good because it gives you um, more to grab onto and grip onto, but um, it might be a little bit of overkill, but maybe they needed to make it this big for the purpose of um, making sure that when you're working with the toenails that you have like something steady to grip onto. I like the actual material that it's made of though, but it is a little bit big for the hand. And let's see, is it rechargeable? Oh, look at that. It's cordless and rechargeable. That is cool. Wow, okay, and it has one, two, three, four different speeds. Okay, and this is reverse and this is forward. Off, so that's off, reverse, forward. Okay, I like that a lot. Okay, very nice. So let's see what the different speeds are here. It does say it can't be used while charging. And it says when in use, the indicator light flashes when it's less than 20% charge. The charging time is about two hours. So yeah, it has the five different speeds. It doesn't necessarily say what the speeds are for. Yeah, that's nice, I like this. Okay, cool. So then let's see how to uh, install the drill bits. So I'm gonna go with, yeah, let me just go with this one. Okay, so you just, you just, oh, okay. You press it in and you wait for a click. And then when you want to, okay, before I put that on, I just wanna show you all how it works again. So you'll turn it on by switching it either up or down. Oh, okay, so now it's on. Okay, and then when you want to increase the speed, you press it again, press it again for speed three, press it again for speed four. Okay. I can see how this can get rid of dead skin though, I can feel it. And then to turn it off, you click it to the middle. This is very different. And I'm guessing to remove it, you just pull it out. Okay. All right, so it's just a pull in, pull out. But you know that it's secure when you hear the click. So then that's secure, okay? And then you put this to prevent dust and debris. Very cool, this is such a different product. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Yeah, I'm excited for this. It's gonna step up my mini game, okay? So I'm not actually gonna be doing my toes in this video. Uh, don't know if that's a disappointment to anybody or not, but what I am gonna do is I will use it on one of my fingers just to kind of see what the prep feels like. Um, and that'll give me a good indicator of you know how I would like it. So I am gonna start with this drill bit here. I'm gonna use it to go around and try to clean my cuticle area and sidewall, okay? I'm just gonna prep one nail with you all here. Um, and so I'm gonna use like this cuticle pusher here and just push back my cuticles. Okay, expose any dead skin that I may have, like so. Now as you all can see, I do still have like a little bit of residue on my fingernails. Um, I did some press on nails recently and some of the nail glue is still there. So it'll be good to see how well that cleans it up. So then from there, I'm just going to turn on my drill. I'm gonna turn it up. Do it this way. So I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna keep it on the first feed for now. I will say it's kind of loud too, but yeah, let's see how it actually works. So I'm gonna get close up to the nail here. Okay, I think it's going the wrong way. So let me go ahead and turn it in the other direction. Okay. Yeah, it's not really doing much. Let me turn up the speed. So I have it on two. Yeah, 
still not doing much. I'm gonna turn it on three. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me try a different drill bit here. Actually, I want to try this drill bit here because I think it'll get closer into those nooks and crannies that I'm trying to get. And I'm not using the guard because I just want you all to be able to see clearly what's happening. Okay, so this is what the nail is looking like afterwards. Let me go ahead and dust it off here. I do feel like some of the nail glue is actually still on my nail. And I don't know that it did a great job of getting deep into the crevices and, and nooks and crannies here for the um for the fingernail. Now again, this is a pedicure drill, so maybe it's better suited for the feet. But as far as using it on my hand, I don't think it was. It did the job as well as I'm used to my other drills doing. Let me go in with the sanding band and see if there's any difference with that. I'm afraid to use these items on my on my fingernails because, you know, again, the fingernails aren't as strong as toenails, so I don't want to jack up my, my fingers here. Um, but let's, I'm going to give the mandrel bit a try to see if maybe I can get more off of my nails. So I'm going to open this up here. this okay and one thing I like to do with sanding bands is to season them so I'll just take a file I'm just gonna season it really quick and that's just going around and making sure the edges aren't too sharp okay as you can see there's still a little bit of the nail glue on my fingernail and again this area right here didn't quite come up so it did clean the cuticle area good enough so I'm gonna try again with the mandrel bit to see what difference it might make so I'm gonna take this out and then put this in. so I got my sanding band in here um, and let's just turn it on and see I'm gonna turn it up to the highest speed and see what it does Okay, so I definitely feel like the sanding band had a little bit more um, power to it. Okay, so that's how the nail is looking after after the sanding band. We go ahead and just wipe off the dust and debris. Okay. So I do feel like the sanding band had a little bit more like power to it as far as removing any like you know debris and such on the nail. Um, and was able to, I think, to rough up the surface enough to where I feel like I'm ready for adhesion for um, any other type of nail product. But again, when it comes to those cuticles and sidewalls, again, I'm not sure how it will be on my actual foot itself because there is more surface area on the foot and um, the grooves and sidewalls are probably a little bit deeper. So I don't know if this product would be better um, used as for its intended use, <laughs> which is on the feet and not on the hand. But overall, it's an interesting product. It's very different, very unique. Again, I don't know that I've ever 
um, had a drill that was specific just for pedicures. And so um, I'll definitely give you guys an update actually after I actually use this product to do my feet. But as far as manis are concerned, I do think that just a standard nail drill would probably be better off when it comes to like doing manicures. I think the most useful drill bit um, out of this kit, if you are wanting to use it to do manicures, would be the uh, man like would be the man drill bit with the sanding band. Um, outside of that, I definitely think the rest of these drill bits or the rest of these drill bits are specifically made for pedicures, which is good. Again, I'll give you all give you all an update of you know how these work out uh, when I do my next pedicure. But yeah, this was a fun product to try out. Let me know. Do you have you all tried this product, or do you have anything similar, um, or do you all use anything different when you're doing your manicures versus your pedicure? Um, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be very interested to hear about it. But yeah, a special shout out to Melody Susie again for sending this over for review. I do have a discount code with Melody Susie, so I'll leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. And then this product is also available on Amazon. So if you all are interested in getting it and trying it out um, and seeing how it works for you, um, I will leave all that information down in the description box below. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye